Okay. Ah, you're back. Ah, it is a new month, so <laughs> thank you for returning again. <laughs> 21 months in a row. Good god. Alright, so I remember the last major thing we did was save Yukiko, right? Uh, I can't go out because Dojima is here, so I guess we'll just go upstairs and do something in our room. Actually, I'm assuming Nanako still says nothing, right? <laughs> vacation, vacation, I can't wait! Well, that's right, we were gonna go on... <laughs> well, we were gonna go to Junez. <laughs> which is not much of a vac vacation. Um... Yeah, it's not much of a vacation. I could read or I could study. What? do did I forget. Did I finish all three books? He took some, Well, yeah, he took some time off for an actual vacation, but it was like during Golden Week. You decided to study. Your knowledge has increased. Twice because of thing. Three times because of thing. I forgot about three times. May 1st. You have the day off from school. You wonder if someone will show up on the Midnight Channel. You can only wait and see. What should you do today? Get a phone call, apparently. Do you have time to go inside the TV? Now that Yukiko's might be good for... She has a good point, actually. You now watch other things besides Persona 4 Golden. You can see the illustrations, take quizzes, and rewatch videos from the game, among other things. If you'd like to see these, press the TV overlay button. The TV overlay button is available when you have free time, such as after school and at night. Pressing the TV overlay button will open the sync data menu. You can change the settings so that the button appears whenever a new show is available. Set the TV update notifier option to on to enable this. I think I'll do that. Where is that though? Is it the program guide? I want to say it's program guide because I don't... It's not the graphics. Oh, also... What is... TV Overlay Rescue options? Touch the button to the right to view the TV listings. Some programs cannot be seen without quitting Persona 4 Golden. Please save first before viewing these programs. Oh my god, it actually gives me the re weather report. Daily Personamations is updated. Daily Personamations is updated. Daily Personamations is updated. Here you can view programs that delve deeper into Persona 4 Golden. New programs will be added as you play through the main program of P4G. We hope you enjoy them. What are Shadows and Personas? Yeah, I mean, I haven't made any real progress, right? I mean, I guess... I guess I'll save just in case, but... I didn't really do anything... What we got here? What is this? Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. Okay. This lecture is for those distinguished enough to tune in. I'm your lector, Mr. Edogawa of Gekokan High. <laughs> you might be surprised to know that my day job is as a school nurse. Usually the students ask me about their health. But sometimes I get questions like this. What are personas and shadows? Apparently I have them inside me. It's quite a shock to learn that there are students that diligent out there. Yeah, this is one of the teachers in Persona 3. And yes, back, um... 
Uh, I want to try to get into the rhythm of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, roughly 9 to 12 Eastern. It was quite a shock to learn that there are students that diligent out there. After all, not many children would come to me asking about personas and shadows from Jungian psychology. It was due to those such requests that I decided to start this show. This lecture will cover Jungian psychology so you too can learn about personas and shadows and much more besides. Call it everyone lo loves Jungian psychology. Let us study the science of the human mind that doc Dr. Jung built. What are shadows and personas? Plasaron Azenomas. Now that I mentioned that persona and shadow are terms used in this psychology, these terms are used to describe the workings of the human mind. What are personas and shadows? According to Jung, they are other yous inside yourself. Let's start with the persona. It is the other you that comes out when you interact with others. When you talk to someone, is that the real you? Or was it the you that the person you were talking to was expecting? Or the you that you want people to see? Either of those yous are a persona. Personas are like masks. They connect you to the outside world by acting as the medium through which you represent yourself. Uh, those That sounds like a helpful other you, doesn't it? Personas, personas are there when you need them. But shadows, though, they are the other you that you reject. A good way to think about them is the you that you don't want to be and don't think of yourself as. Shadows are just that. Shadows. They are the side of you that you keep locked away in your mind as evil. Sounds like a scary other you, huh? Appears that you need to handle shadows with care. <laughs> now, personas and shadows are both un the are both other yous that you usually aren't aware of. So then, why aren't you aware of them? It's because they lurk deep inside your mind in your unconscious. The unconscious is the source of personas and shadows, the foundation of Jungian psychology. It's important to understand, so let's take a closer look at this unconscious. The term was originally derived from psychology. It may be hard for you to imagine since the word is now used in everyday conversation. There's a domain in all of our minds that we are typically unaware of. This is known as the unconscious. And the unconscious is the source of the mind's activity. So the shadows are the parts of you that stream on Twitch. <laughs> I mean, I guess to an extent. So you, and yes, even you, all have an unconscious deep within your mind, separate from the conscious mind you're aware of. The unconscious is said to be much bigger than the conscious mind, like the part of an iceberg that's underwater. You could say that Junkian psychology began by elucidating this vast unconscious. Are you all listening? Are you still conscious? <laughs> the unconscious, hidden deep inside your mind, it is in the, this realm that you cannot explore that the power to change yourself lies. This power, are the, this power are the same other yous inside your mind, the personas and shadows that I was just talking about. The other yous live in the unconscious, lying in wait for the chance to make it out to the conscious mind. Who are they really? And how should you go about handling them? These are the concepts I'll be introducing to you. Make sure to tune in. So far, we've covered the existence of the unconscious inside your mind, as well as the other yous known as personas and shadows, which live there. <laughs> you didn't come here for a goddamn anatomy lesson. You want to fuck up shadows with the other you. Uh, an important secret about the unconscious. This gets to the heart of the truth about your mind and the truth about the world. The unconscious within your mind is actually not just yours. Human minds are all connected, transcending space and time. In other words, we all share a single brain cell. Ah, did I forget to mention that this show will involve viewer participation every so often. When you see a selection on the screen, use the buttons in front of you to make your choice. Now that I've explained, man's, man sh shares a sing single brain cell. I can't speak today. <laughs> That's amazing. Reacting to the otherworldly with pure surprise. Say that you were made for the world of the occult. So is man's shared brain cell really shared? Have you ever noticed that no matter what the era or location, man tends to have certain sensitivities? Based on thorough, painstaking research, Jung suggested that man's brain cell is indeed shared. If Jung was alive today... <laughs> man shares single brain cell, dick brain. <laughs> Uh, if Jung was alive today, he might say something like, The human brain cell isn't an isolated terminal. It's networked. And that network is known as the collective unconscious. The original German phrase is collective... Oh, I have no... I'm Nope. Nope. I gave it a half try. But I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Alright. I'm going to type this into Google Translate and have her read it to me. Where's Google Translate? There it is. 
Uh, give me German. Son of a bitch. And translate it. Come on now. Read the word to me, damn you. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll switch the languages then. Get the shit out of here. Alright, I give up. Look, I can't German. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Now the other use, the personas and shadows, to tell you the truth, they are deeply tied to this collective unconscious. I'll explain this term more later, but they are archetypes, images born from the collective unconscious. Starting to become quite a handful, isn't it? Collective unconscious what? Arco, majig? Speak English, you egghead. I can hear the screams from your heart. But by the time my lecture comes to a close, you'll no doubt be saying, That was so collectively unconscious. Let's review a little, shall we? Use the buttons in front of you to answer. Are you ready? All right, I ask thee, the hidden you within your mind. What is the part of the mind where it dwells called? The unconscious. Very good, you passed that with ease, though it's the most basic level of these lessons. Let's keep going and deepen our understanding of the mind. Now then, it looks like our time is up. Next time, we'll dig a little deeper into the unconscious we talked about today. That's it for today. What is this? Welcome to the Velvet Room, the Midnight Channel, My Awakening, Shadow Yosuke, Yukiko's Hunt for Her Prince, Teddy's Inner Space, The Killer's Shadow, and more! Personimation! The new opening. The new intro for P4 Golden. Oh! Ooh, you know what? I want to watch this, because Golden has a different opening than the original Persona 4. I don't know who half those people are. <laughs> Look, it, it will hurt because I will make a fool of myself, and I already do that enough on my own. I don't need to make it worse. I like that. I like that a lot. Welcome to the Velvet Room. To Inaba, the Midnight Channel, Into the TV, Saki's Death, My Awakening. Look, I tried to give it a shot by having it be read to me. Usually you could lurk on a tablet or something, so you could watch Hulu on your phone. <laughs> like I said, from about 9 to about 12 Eastern. So, uh, well now it's about 9.20, 
So a little under three hours. Yeah, I haven't even really gotten into the game yet. I'm just watching videos. Bizarre serial murders are rocking a foggy town. What is the link between the killings and the mysterious midnight channel seen on TV during rainy nights? A group of teens in this quiet country town use the power of persona to face themselves and search for the killer lurking in the darkness. Oh, so this is back to the game. Good. <laughs> Just about to ask how to do that. Alright, I guess once a stream we'll pop into the TV listings. Alright, it's Sunday. Go out till evening? Yes. I didn't talk to Nanako. I should have talked to Nanako. Oh well. Sorry, Nanako. Go to town, yes. Uh I do want to go into the TV and, and see what um Yukiko can do. But first I want to do some shopping. Because I have, I think, I hope, a little bit of money. Yeah. I'm going to check the bookstore. I don't think there's anything new, though. Marie. She is. Uh... Do I need an Eon Arcana Persona? Because I haven't had a chance to get one of those. I do. Uh... Okay, so each social link back has uh, an affiliation with an arcana. Marie is Ion, Eon, however you want to pronounce that. I was told it's supposed to be pronounced Eon, so that's how I've chosen to pronounce it. You need the level 10, but you don't need a persona. Like... Like, like, tarot cards. So, like, the investigation team is the fool. Uh, Yosuke here is the magician. Chie here is the chariot. My, uh, teammates on the sports team are the strength. And that's all I've met so far. So, uh, okay. It's better to have a persona of that. So in addition, each persona has an affiliation with an arcana. You can't see it because it's under my webcam, so I guess I'll turn off my webcam real quick. Just for a second. So you see Fornius says Hermit. Over there, next to his level. That means he's a persona of the Hermit Arcana. Izanagi is the Fool. Yomotsu Shikome is the Fool. Angel is Justice. Apsaris is Temperance. Ukabak is Devil. <laughs> what, you don't like Fornius? And having a persona of the corresponding arcana gives you bonus points when you hang out with a person. So I need the level 10 to get bonus content with, uh, by getting level 10 with Marie. So my question is, do I need... Should I try to... It's pretty hard to get Ion. Eon. Okay. So I guess... I mean, I want to bring Yukiko to the TV world. No. 
No, you know what? I'll hang out with Marie. I've been waiting for you. Hey, why don't you take me somewhere? I don't know the area. You know your way around here, right? Feel your relationship with Marie will deepen. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Marie looks happy. There's only about six cards in the Eon Arcana. Today I want to go to a lively place. I want to go to Juness. I heard about that place. Seems Marie wants to go to Juness. Let's go. <laughs> Juness, Electronics Department. You were dragged here by an excited Marie. Hey. Hey, what happened just now? Time cell? Everyone was rushing to grab something called salad dressing. Whatever it is, it must be worth fighting for. Hmm? Hey, Steve Kuhn! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute! This is Marie. Huh? Oh, yeah. Marie looks perplexed. Marie, huh? Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm Chie Saranaka. Nice to meet you! Mm -hmm. Okay. I know what this is. It shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at the TVs, too? Yeah, I want one, too. We still haven't replaced our old one. Whatever. I don't want one. I don't. But maybe... Can you turn it to Star Scandals? What kind of show is that? You fight for Caesar salad dressing. <laughs> uh... Cam... Nick's not here to help... Please help. <laughs> so, Beck, this is hanging out with the social link. You don't always get other characters show up, uh, but you get dialogue options, and some of them will give you bonus points with the person. I like to get those bonus points because I like making my friends happy. <laughs> So, typically, someone in chat will shout out the answer that will give bonus points. And often it wastes a lot of time, but it's worth it in my book. Usually. <laughs> Especially with the party members. Most of the answers... In What kind of show is that? Why? Uh, it's like one of those shows, right? The ones where they're like, blah da blah da blah. Everybody watches it. Margaret told me that. For some reason, Murray seems proud. <laughs> so, how do you watch it? Huh? Are you one of those people who doesn't watch TV? That's right. There isn't one in the room. Really? Wow, you must have super strict parents. Girl, I don't think I could stand it. Life without kung fu movies? <laughs> oh, but... There's no ec eclectic Lautwitz in that room. I'll tell the nose to install one of those eclectic Lautwitz. There's nothing to do in there. Hey, wait, Marie! You don't have electricity in your room? I mean, to be fair, the room is just a car. <laughs> Junez, food court. He came with Marie and Chie. The entire second level has no meaningful options. Okay. Whew, that was good stuff. Satisfaction. I haven't had the steak here in a while, but it really isn't all that bad. Marie, you haven't eaten at all. You too, Steve! You've got to eat it if you want to grow up big and strong. Just kidding. <laughs> you eat too fast. You're going to be fat one day. I didn't need to hear that. I'll go get us some drinks. Oolong tea sounds good. There's a lot of people at this Juna's place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? If they have TVs, they should be watching them instead of wasting time here. <laughs> Mommy, I'm thirsty. I want a soda. No, you just had one. You'll have to wait. I want it. I want it. I said no. You'll rot your teeth. Can confirm. Soda does rot teeth. Marie watches the mother and son. Hey. Hey, do you think I was ever like that? I mean, probably. Pretty much all kids are. I see. 
see. Of course, huh? I see. Marie seems depressed. I don't remember anything. I was just walking. I had nowhere to go. And I just ended up in that car. Then Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. It'd be hard to get around without a name. You can't remember anything? Nope. I don't need to. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But I don't know why, but this town is familiar to me. Did you live here before? I don't know. The only thing I remember, or more like no, is that this is mine. Marie is holding an old bamboo comb in her hand. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But so what? This doesn't help anything. Marie confided in you about her memory. You feel your relationship with... Excuse me. With Marie has grown deeper. Rank 2! Your power to create personas of, of the Eon Arcana has grown. Of course, it doesn't help because I don't have any. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There's no such thing. This conversation is boring. Let's talk about something else. Sorry to keep you waiting. Shop was busy, so I just ordered and came back here. They'll bring it to us when it's ready. Uh, is it me or is the mood a bit heavy around here? D don't worry, you two. I ordered for all of us. Oolong tea for everybody. See ya. After talking with Marie and Chie, you escorted Marie back to the Velvet Room. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> vacation, vacation. I can't wait. Can I check the weather? Thank you. Eh, pretty decent weather. One day of rain. Coming up. Um... Dojima's not here. What is my voices in my head saying? A lot of people are just going to bed. I think I'll study. She, she is just running on that vacation. Study. Knowledge has increased. Knowledge has increased. Knowledge has increased. Why not get a job? Because I don't want to. <laughs> Plain and simple. Oh. Good morning. It's raining. It's not going to last past nightfall, though. Every time it rained while I was over there, you must have been... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be gloomy. I know, Golden Week starts tomorrow, right? Do you have any plans? I'm having a family outing. I see, that must be tough. But at least it looks like we're going to have clear skies all week. It'd be nice if it could stay peaceful like this, but the mystery hasn't been solved yet. Perhaps we should visit over there once in a while so we could become stronger. Okay. Part of it is that I don't know where I have to go to get a job. I'm hearing a lot of chatter about Golden Week, but don't forget that first and foremost, you're students. Your duty is to study. You don't have time to fool around, got it? Do not misunderstand what freedom means. It does not mean that you can live without taking responsibility. Even Pythagoras said as, as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Next order of business. Midterms are coming up next week. The results will be posted to humiliate low-scoring losers. If you don't want to be shamed, study hard. It's that simple. If you do well, who knows? You may become more a more popular Cretan. And you know, popularity leads to intimacy. On top of that, my reputation goes up. It's a win-win situation, people. Like I said, study hard. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. You do certain jobs in your room and increase certain stats depending on your job. In the shopping area by Ayas. Okay. Someone appear on the Midnight Channel again. We have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. That girl said the cultural clubs are looking for new members. She was in the drama club, but she said she was trying to get people to join the other clubs, too. Uh... What's up? To be honest, I haven't been able to sleep. I'm afraid of so many things. Some sort of charm. An angel statue. Or something. Uh... 
don't know what it's key to, but it seems like it could be worth a lot. I'll keep an eye out. I'll leave it in your hands. What does the voices in my head say? Studied with Chie. Chie is chariot, right? I'd have to go get a chariot persona. Apply for a job. Ooh, another quest. Do you have a moment? I must speak to you on behalf of the Mystery Association. Or if you'd prefer, the Occult Club. Surely a student of your tastes can appreciate the dark arts. I knew it, just as it was foretold. Perhaps you'd like a reading of your own? No, I'm just getting carried away. Anyway, uh, I was just about to get to the point of our little chat. Uh, I would really, really like a dark ornament for our club's room. Okay. Journey to an old castle... Get a demon statue for a magician of sorts. Okay. Newer things one might use. I think I could find it. So an angel statue and a demon statue. But that was quest five? What happened to two and three? I guess I just straight up missed them. Oh well. Oh, it's Yukiko. It's raining, right? Um. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like you. Alright, so it's by Ayas. Is this it? No. Because that's not Ayas. <laughs> Ayas is in the north. Several job openings. Working a part-time job will earn you money. You may, able, you may be able to increase your social stats by taking a job. When these various qualities reach certain points, you may unlock quests, meet new people, or earn a raise. Envelope constructor, translator, origami crane folder. Assistant daycare caretaker. Which do you recommend? Because none of these seem particularly interesting. All of them. <sighs> I mean, I guess. Good for raising diligence. A hundred yen or... Or a thousand yen or more. Yeah, sure. You can make envelopes on the work desk in your room. Knowledge, some knowledge required. Perfect for raising expression. No. Maybe when I rank up knowledge, which I don't know if I've done. Some diligence. I don't have enough diligence. Understanding required. No, I probably do not have enough understanding. Okay. Let's go to the shrine. Because I don't think we've actually been here yet. Yashiro. It's a small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. You have no business here. Well, shoot. Leave the shopping district. We're gonna go into the TV today.
Once you call your friends, they will gather at the food court, and you cannot go out with them for that day. Yeah. That's an annoying mechanic, but yeah, that makes sense. Confirm the situation. You come to the shrine in the rain when no one's there. I didn't know that! That was my first time at the shrine! After all the trouble you went through, I'm sorry I don't remember anything. Like we said, it's totally okay. You're safe and that's all that matters. But I wonder where th what the killer is going to do next. For now, all we could do is keep an eye on the Midnight Channel and wait for his next move. I think this week's weather report went like... Okay. That's our Yukiko. It's not what you said when I told you the report. Alright, enter the TV. Let's get Yukiko some experience. I say as if she's not probably at a decent... It's been peaceful over here. I forgot to tell you, for some reason, I feel a powerful shadow in the castle. Maybe this world is getting unstable from people going in and out. I don't think the shadow is related to the culprit, but I don't like it being here. I'd be happy if you could defeat it for me. Uh, status. Fifth... Fifteen? I knew I was going to be a little lower, but not that much. I sort of forgot where the castle is. But I'm sure Chie and Yuki didn't forget. You should ask one of them to show you where it is. Oh yeah, I made these th uh, the right way this time. Ta-da! Brand new gag glasses! Per Yuki's request, they have lenses in them. Gag winter outfit. Oh really? Thanks, Teddy. Hey, Chie, let's put these on. This again? We did it before. There's no need to do it again. Come on, Teddy. Don't get all excited just because Yukiko's a goof. <laughs> You're too kind. Severely underleveled. Let's be honest. Was it an accessory? No. Close. Close. It's all thanks to you that I'm here, isn't it? I really want to thank you. I don't really want to go there, but if you say so. All right, let's go. Since the presence of a strong shadow in the room Yuki was in, Sensei, you should defeat it. Oh, that's right. I'm wearing my ch jock uniform. So is Chie. Oh my god, I actually hit it. Two enemies. You can attack before them. I actually fucking hit it. Electricity will... Electricity, wind. Two enemies left. Who am I on? Not the right person. Uh, Persona, give me Izanagi. Persona. No one stands in Sensei's way. Nice. <laughs> but I'm apparently high enough level to beat the shit out of that. <laughs> Give me the chariot. So that I have a chariot persona. Izanagi has leveled up. Cool. Darukaja. So while I was editing um, our first visit here, when we got Chie's persona, um, <laughs> I found out that I'm incredibly terrible at hitting things with you uh, with the sword. Alright, I'll be with that in a second. I want to see what's over here first. It's a chest. Snuff soul. Cool.
you'll get better. Yeah, probably. I think I wasn't great, um, in 3 either. But I was at the point that I was at when I played last, I was just so high leveled it didn't matter. Yosuke's on a warpath! Jesus Christ! Oh shit, she's not on direct again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I just put it on her and I already forgot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, Shadow. Fuck it. We one-shot these things anyway. Uh-huh. 72 XP, 2,000 yen. One soul drop. I like how uh, Yukiko's weapon is fans. Because <laughs> it just reminds me of Code Lyoko. <laughs> like, you remember Yumi? Because I do. worse for you because you didn't know you could do it out of battle. What? Change the uh, battle commands? There's only one enemy. You missed! Oh, Yosuke, right. please! How's that? <laughs> Never speak the name in your... The name of what? No, I'm legitimately asking. Give me the money up, give me the chess key. I don't care about the persona right now. A little less XP, but a little more money. Big chest. Combat- Combat dress? That's armor. 42. Okay, it's a bigger increase on Yukiko, so... Please don't be a mimic. Okay, it's a soul drop. Oh, are you referring to my brief mention of Code Lyoko? Is that what you were like, oh, never speak that name about? Which means one of these is dead. And... There are two enemies! Hang in there! He's an Aggie, he's leveled up. Is that it? Was I right? What, did you not like that show or something? That's a big shadow. There are two enemies. 
homies. Hang in there. Trance Twins is gathering magic power. But it doesn't matter, because it's not going to make it to its next turn. No, seriously, is that the problem? It was a really good show. The sequel series, the live-action sequel series, was not great. But... Uh... T-shirt. 26 to 34... 28 to 34. It's a bigger increase on. <clears throat> I mean. Are you complaining though? I mean, obviously a little bit, but it was it was a good shell. It, it was a good shell. I didn't buy Yukiko a weapon. Shit. So she's just on her default. Hey, hey, Kim. Miss, I know the lyrics to everything. Here we are going far to save all that we love. If we give all we got, we will make it through. Here we are like a star shining bright on the world today. Mickey will go away. <laughs> One more, change the persona. <laughs> call your go if we said it all. Call your go, be the when you call. Call your go, we will stand real tall. Call your go stronger after all. Uh, it was a pretty good song, too. That's the thing. That's the wrong button. Now you're sad it's gone. <laughs> I mean, is it on Netflix still? Could always rewatch it. Because I'm sure there is stuff that you don't remember. Because there was stuff I didn't remember the last time I watched it. Granted, it was a few years ago at this point, but there are two enemies. Hang in there. Oh shit. It's fine, it's gonna die. I'm okay. She what? She what? She could do that? the hell was that? Irvania? Cures all ailments besides down and unconscious. Neat. Everything was... You know what? I don't remember the later seasons. Like, I know they start going into the real world uh, with, uh, with their Lyoko powers. Because of plot. But I don't remember much of what happens in that last season. It's over already? That was not just one episode. There were like a few different places that they went in the real world. <laughs> okay. All right. Kim, I think there's a lot of the show that you are not remembering. Because <laughs> when they do finally get her out of the computer, she, uh, she falls unconscious whenever, um, whenever they turn the supercomputer off. So the series continues for a little while after that. And at some point, they get to the core of Lyoko, which they call Sector 5. You hit me, you piece of shit! An ambush by three enemies! <laughs> Don't cry! 
I don't actually remember these things' weaknesses. Do I have anything with multi-hit attack? No, not on, not on Steve. Okay. Three enemies. Let's get through this. Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. Oh, you have Meraki. Good. You knocked it down. Good idea, Yuki-chan. This will be a piece of cake for Yuki-chan. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> that show goes places. They still keep going because William is crazy. Yeah! And then they find out Xana is taking over places in the real world. Like, like military base type shit. And, and there's like a half a season dedicated to going through the sea to other places. I think this thing is weak to fire, is that right? No. But it didn't matter because it died. I gotta step up too! Each seed. Okay, what is everybody's levels? 13, 12, 12, 15. Weak to death? What? Ooh, a revival bead. That'll be good when I get to that thing at the top of the castle. Did another one just spawn there? These stairs up or down? Up. Cool. Okay, what is the name of this song? Because I'm scared to look at the OST in s because I, I want to listen to this song, but I'm worried about spoilers. So if I know the specific song name, I could just look up the song name. Two shadows, uh oh. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Hang tight defense up. It. Doesn't matter, I got a crit. <laughs> Electricity. No. Just one enemy left. Wind. How about Death. That? It's weak to dying. Reach out to the truth. Okay. I will check that later. Medea. Medea? Already? Wow. Nick is the OST expert. I mean, you know lyrics very well, so I hoped you'd know. <laughs> I'm surprised that 
we're getting Medea what feels like very early on. I guess I am a bit more competently leveled after the first palace than I was in Persona 5, though. So I guess it makes some sense. Treasure ahoy! Thank you, Teddy. There are two Rick. Hang in there. Oh, and he resists physical attacks. Hang in there. It doesn't matter, I had enough hits. Snuff soul. One enemy. Now's your chance. What is that thing? It's not strong at all. I'm sure you can win. I don't believe you. If something resists physical attacks, just hit harder. Yeah, pretty much. That's some thick skin. Go for it. It's not working. Outright blocks win. fire. Shuffle time. That's a lot of cards. Half money. Okay. Money up. One more. Get chest key. This is a pretty balanced team you have here. I mean, I feel like the starting team tends to be decent. And also, everybody else is catching up to Yukiko pretty quickly. I haven't seen a single HP SP recovery, but I also haven't necessarily needed it. Because, as I told you on Discord the other day, once I have the fourth party member, I'm usually more okay when it comes to SP. So that leads me to believe that this beetle thing is weak to ice. That's some thick skin. Two enemies left. <laughs> no one stands in Sensei's way. So persistent. Screw it. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Hit it really hard. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's what you did. Shuffle time. Alright. Chest key. Yeah, I'll take a Hierophant. Omoi Kane. Sorry, Epsaris. Izanagi has leveled up. Tomoe has leveled up. And learn Mabufu. Thunder Vow. I got that chest key just in- Uh, ha ha he him. There are two enemies! Hang in there! Hmm. I did not like the sound of that. Oh, you can shot! That was lovely! That's my true strength! Stronger? So she finally got. No. I refuse to fight the Reaper. Give me the stairs. 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 Group up and hit it really hard. Oh, that was beautiful. Amazing, Sensei. I can now store up to eight percent. 
Oh, so I just get that from leveling up and not through the story? Interesting. I wonder if it's possible to get to level 99 in Yukiko's palace. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. You thought... I mean, that's what it was in 5, so I kind of assumed I'd get it eventually through story. It is possible, but you will be miserable. <laughs> Not yet. Not until I hear those chains. Hang in there. Didn't quite kill him. Enemy reinforcements! Hurry and beat them! Power change. I resisted that anyway. He heals himself, that's right. I mean, eventually, just rushing everything will be all I need. Lifestone. Also, unlike Mementos, uh, when you go down a floor, it stays the same. Alright, let's see. Soul drop, 10 SP. Yeah, you can have all of that. 50 SP, I'll hold on to. Alright, that should be good. I sense a shadow inside. Are you ready, Sensei? Yes. Let's do it, Sensei! What is this thing? I mean, it's one of those king things. There's one enemy. Smash it. Rawr! Go get him. Yeah, I should have figured that that wouldn't work. Rampage. Yusuke's in danger. He needs help. Uh, Yukiko needs to come back. She has Medea, which will top. Him off. Yeah, she's the only one with Medea. You did save. No. No, I did not. Because I never learned my lesson. What is this thing's fucking weakness? It's not strong at all. It's not strong at all, he says, as it almost killed everyone and did actually kill Yukiko. Here. Have extra HP. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, shut up, Igor. This game actually gives you the option to restart from the floor. Skill. Yukiko, Medea, top everyone off. We're going in at full health. And we're not doing... What's that personal opinion?
I don't know about that. It'll be a tough battle, but I think I can do it. No, don't rush. Okay, he's fast. One enemy. Fight, fight, fight. You're our healer. Everybody's still at full health. Okay, so you can just regular attack. You... Yosuke has all of the buffs. All he has to do is Rampage Hysterical Slap two times. Increases one ally's attack for three turns. Yes. I understand your concern. Or maybe it's somebody on you. Silence. What the hell? He blocks not silence. Blocking? That's not surprising. So persistent. Because mm. you're just increase one ally's attack. Yeah, I'll just have GA boost everyone's attack until he runs out of um oh, -chan, that was beautiful. Extend that. And Oh shit, Yosuke's actually dead. Okay, hang on. Heal me and uh that's not enough HP. Okay, you don't have... So you can... Heal him with an item. That's fine. I can live with that. I can't, however, live with him being dead. So, Revival Bead. So you're weak to fire, I'm guessing. It's no? Working? He What? Fire won't work on this one. Uh Okay. Fine. So instead of wasting all our SP, we can. Oh, Yuki Chan, that was lovely. Sonic Punch. Is that the move that has a higher chance of crit, or is that only in five? Oh, right, it outright blocks. Okay, so... This is the one. Forneus. For a turn or two, he's just gonna heal people. So he absorbs fires, just physical Couldn't attack. You're the idiot? Okay, yeah. No! 
Alright, we need big heals on Yukiko. Big heals on Yukiko. And Bufu did a decent amount, so if I Bufu... Yeah. Inflicted with Rage. Do I have anything? Uh, not really. Okay. Yuki Chan's mad as heck. No kidding. No kidding. Yuki Chan's in danger. Help someone. That did at least three hits. Fight, fight, fight. And that makes me mad. I mean, I, look, I could still do this. It's gonna be rough, but I could still do this. Okay. Just gonna do use basic attacks. <laughs> do I have I do. Okay. Come here, Chie. Get a get a get an attack boost. Hey, guess what? We're almost done. So persistent. Okay, let's go. And you thought I had to level up more. I told you it would be rough, but I could do it. You've defeated a mighty enemy. Your courage has increased. Something inside of you has changed. Fornius has leveled up. Uh, Yosuke has leveled up. I leveled up. Tomoe has leveled up. Alright, Sensei, thank you! Something is on the floor. Suzaku Feather, times one. That is a weapon for Yukiko. That's a decent weapon for Yukiko! My head has gotten stronger. <laughs> I guess, in a sense. Now I'm in my normal clothes. These boots were really expensive. I figured I need some boots for my- You have a motorcycle?! But man, boots are such a pain to maintain. If you don't take care of them, they smell and crack. But yeah, you changed too, Steve. That's a Yasagami High Gym uniform. It's so comfortable. Because our school has so much field space, PE classes are really demanding. Still, I guess it's better than studying class all the time. Talk to the others. Chie. Hey, I changed into my school gym clothes. Man, the athletic outfits that we get from the school are weird. They're not stretchy enough. As a connoisseur of sporting apparel, I have to say that I find these to be lacking. Hey, yeah, you, st you changed school. That's our school's thing. Do you play any sports? I bet you're good at them. Gym class is so tough. They just make us do whatever they want because the field is big. 
I'm wearing the nose glasses. <laughs> Do they look good on me? Maybe they should become part of my regular look. You gotta fix this, Steve. And once I see her wearing those things, I can't concentrate anymore. Really? Don't worry, you'll get used to seeing me in them after a while. How do you like your new outfit? That's our school's gym outfit. Looks the same for girls and guys, huh? What do you, your school's gym clothes look like at your last school? I wonder if it, even... I wonder if even those are more fashionable in the city. Whoa, Sensei changed. Sensei is wearing some athletic rags. Perfect for exercising or washing cars. Those things look pretty cheap to make. Yes. I don't want to move to the next floor. I want to go to the end of the previous floor. Maybe I'm full of shit. Maybe these do regenerate. Whoops. Hello, Mr. Shadow. I smell three enemies. Don't get careless. Oh, I'm going to be super careless. Yo, Skay. Do another level up. Nice. Dodge electric. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, get rid of panic boost. Next story plot this stream. Solid, maybe. You know what? Yeah. Bye! Welcome back. Turn to the entrance. We made some good levels today. We're done for the day. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye bye. An Iniba Credit Union ATM to the north of town was destroyed today by an earth mover, and all cash inside was stolen. An earth mover? You mean like one of the. one of those construction things? The vehicle, which was abandoned at the scene, had been reported stolen by a local contractor. Yeah, one of those construction things. Since the culprit was able to act quickly before the security guards arrived on the scene, the police have... <sighs> That's late. Yeah, he's probably working on that case, to be honest. Hello, Dad? Yeah. I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. He said to give you the phone. He can't take those days off. Son of a bitch! Make sure you lock up before you go to sleep. And about that time off on the 4th and the 5th, one of the younger guys got sick, and, well, that case he's handling, we can't just let it sit. Looks like I'm the only one who can take over for him. Sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden. Um, how's Nanako holding up? Would you mind comforting her for me? Thanks. All right, then. See you. Yo, I've only known her for about a month. This makes me very mad. There's a test on Monday next week. Study? Question mark? Alright. I'm gonna 
BRB because I have some laundry that I got to move over to from the washing machine to the dryer. So I'll be back in a moment. Water and water and water, water, 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 water and water and water, water. Joke's on you, I already had a bottle of water. I mean, it's almost finished now, but I already had water. Nice try. Alright. Can I, can I comfort Nanako? Or is it just gonna send me to my room? You were bored. It just sent me to my room. You're exhausted from your exploration inside the TV. You decide to work some other time. Am I allowed to study? No. So I have to go to TV. Nothing appears on TV. The Midnight Channel is only on during rainy days. I didn't know what the weather was. <laughs> Today is Constitution Day, so you have the day off from school. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. Hey, Nanako. Oh, morning. Nanako is watching TV today, as usual. Sounds like someone's here. Dojima residence. Gia came to see you. Oh, cool. You're home. Hey, if you're free today, want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming, too. How about you, Nanako-chan? Want to come? When did you meet Nanako? Is there something I'm forgetting? Because I don't remember Chie ever meeting Nanako. Um... Of 
course we'll tell them about it. I mean, tell them, but sh the way she said that made it feel like she just, she already met. Yeah, come with us. Huh? I, I can come? Yeah, why not? You know how she- yeah, I guess. Jeanette's food court. You met up with Yosuke, who's still on the clock, and Yukiko, who's finished her work back at the inn. Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? Where else is there to go? I love Juness. Nanako-chan! <laughs> to go on a real trip somewhere. We were going to make boxed lunches. Wow, you can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? Sort of. She needs help. Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. Oh, don't say it like that, please. Big bro. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh never mind. I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. The fact that you have to say probably leads me to believe that you're probably not. If you'd asked, I would have whipped up some box lunches, easy as pie. Yeah. <laughs> doubt. I have serious doubts right now. Uh, let me think about no. <laughs> what makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves. My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. I, look, Chie can't be worse than Fuka. Okay? <laughs> I can understand that. What the? Yukiko! Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, not a good thing. Mom's not around. Mom is dead, question mark? I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. Hey, Yosuke. Uh, I see. Uh, um, I, mean, I mean, he didn't know. It, he didn't know. It was completely an accident. Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. And now I have a brother, too. And I'm having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. Yeah? That's good. <laughs> we'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako chan. Yeah, we should hang out more often. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. Okay. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. <laughs> oh, well, you are a little kid. That's it. I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too. Do you want something, too? Nanako gives you a carefree smile. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Nanako. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Justice Arcana. Why is Nanako Justice? You've established the Nanako Dojima social link of the Justice Arcana. Wanna share some takoyaki? Nanako is your little sister now. Apparently! <laughs> you had fun time with Nanako and your friends. Today was fun, huh? Yes. Yes, it was. 
Can I check the weather? Looks like it's going to be pretty cloudy this week. The voices in my head are saying a lot of different things. <laughs> pretty, pretty uh, indecisive, these voices in my head. I think I'm going to do some work. Make a snack. Make a snack? I can do that? We have stuff in the fridge to make a snack? There's a dried up pickle in a plastic bag. Eat it. Uh, that feels rude because it's probably somebody's. I don't know what I want to do. Nanako, I'll be right back. <laughs> I need to figure out what to do. <laughs> Shopping district. Nanako can tell you when you can make lunch. Oh, that's cool. All right, one more bar. You're coming with me. Boss's orders. Boss, you're drunk. Put yourself in my shoes for a sec. And you smell. Stinky feet, stinky breath, stinky lectures, stinky, stinky, stinky. <laughs> of course I'm your boss. All right, get yourself ready for the next one. The snack was the pickle. I guess? You know what? It's a nice and quiet night. I'm seeing Yosuke here. Do I even have a persona for him? No. I'll do his shit later. I'm going fishing. He turned himself into a pickle. Oh no. Dog is digging at the ground with a single minded determination that is admirable. You see the shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. If you had a fish. I don't have a fishing rod! I didn't think about that! I'm gonna just. Ass uh, I guess that makes sense. Hey, Nanako, I'm back. I did say I'd be back. I guess I'll eat the dried pickle. Tastes really good. Your courage has greatly increased. My courage has changed from average to reliable. However, you don't feel well. You just decided to go. <laughs> the pickle made me sick. Today is nature day, so you have the day off from school. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. What should you do today? I should have went to the velvet room. Hey, it's me. It'd be kind of weird after we hung out yesterday. But do you want to do it, go out again today? I'll see if I can find someone else to come along with us. This doesn't tell me how close I am to leveling up. Sure, why not? Alright. Junez, electronics department. This is this not a scripted use gay. Yeah, Nanako sure loves this place. <laughs> the first thing out of her mouth when I asked where she wanted to go was Junez. 
Uka Blamer, this place has everything. It's like a storehouse of magic. I can see why she likes it. Anyways, isn't she cute? I have a younger sister, too. I wish she was cute like Nanako. I'm not cute. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Huh. Don't worry, you're not cute. Huh? That's going kind of far. Hey, 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 Are you hey, st hey. stupid or something? That's the Daisuke I know. <laughs> don't flatter me like that. <sighs> I don't think he is. Big bro, that TV is huge. I feel like if I watched sports on a TV like this, I'd get sucked into the screen. <laughs> Come on, like, that could happen. <laughs> this It promises to be an entertaining day. Feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. Feel like your relationship with Daisuke and Ko is going to become closer soon. Spend an afternoon with the group. Yeah, Nanako, your big brother has a lot of friends. A lot of them know each other. Apparently. <laughs> we went to Jine Jeunesse today, huh? Nothing catches your eye. Hmm. Tomorrow, for sure, I'll figure out where I can get a fishing rod. But on a related note. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you. Where's Marie? Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. If you're looking for Marie, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. An errand? Oh, please don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. You would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh, oh what is that? She must have dropped it. <laughs> it seems... It seems the piece of paper belongs to Marie. You notice something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Wait, no! Marie frantically snatches the paper away from you. What is this? What are you... Doing? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? No, I didn't. I see. Oh, you didn't really? Then that's good. Marie looks very relieved. Just, just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep, sleep. You didn't see anything. Now wake up. <laughs> this is quite an interesting reaction. Is what is on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the velvet room. Excuse us. Now once again. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome, my butt. That was close. Marie returns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. Alright, let's register our personas. And fuse personas. Let's do some fusing. Wait. Fusion forecast. Trigger. None. Effect. Skill change. Okay. So I could just randomly have a skill change, I guess. Oh god, I got two slots. I underestimated what I had. Uh, if I... I can't fuse fool with fool. Okay. I went from six to eight. Yeah. I thought I had 7 and went from 7 to 8. I didn't realize I went from 6 to 8. I'm bad at counting at a glance. Yeah, let's get Eligor. Decreases one foe's attack, decreases one fo Okay, yeah, Tarunda Secunda and... Dia. Yeah. yeah. 
I forgot how extra this fusion animation is. As if the one in five isn't extra, but still. I am Illigoa. Our victory lies in your hands. Do I get a level up? I do, which means I got Miragi as well. Under Tarunda? No, thank you. Uh, slime. And... Fornius. Ooh, it's to kill light. Sakunda, Rakunda, and Dia. I am Archangel. I am with you on the path to glory. I got the level up. Kill. Which means I got Medea. Sure. Soul break. What is soul break? Ooh, can I do a triangle spread? Jack Frost! Hee ho! Mabufu, Icebreak, Mapatra. Medea. Secunda, Rakunda. Tarakaja. Yes, sir. Eho! I'm Jack Frost Ho. Nice to meet you, Eho. Two level ups, which means I got ice boost. Under the current fusion forecast conditions, boof change. No. I like this Jack Frost. This Jack Frost is a pretty good one. Alright. So, compendium. I want to use an Aki pack. He's not my best persona, but I like him a lot. And Archangel back. What did Sandman have? Nothing. Is it Ukabak? No. Fornius. Fornius had everything. Okay. I'm comfortable with the personas I have now. You're the bar. You're nothing. You're Chie. Do I have a chariot on me? Did I fuse all my chariots away? No, okay. I have Eligor. Sure. GA seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talked with her. Since you have Eligor, you could become closer. Let's spend time with Chie. Chie yeah. seems happy. Come on! 
Oh yeah, do you know about Aya's mega beef bowl that's only served on rainy days? Saluted to the gills! Now there's a dish that really puts your love of meat to the test. You should try it out if you get the chance. Meat's the perfect meal on a rainy day. My love for meat will win out. You think so too? Oh, you know the majesty of meat too? Oh, I bet you and I can enjoy some great dinners together. But the Mega Beef Bowl is a pretty serious challenge. Even you might have trouble. If you plan to take it on, you have to still your mind and just shovel it down your throat. You enjoyed your idle chat with Chie. Feel your relationship has, with Chie has grown stronger. You could rank up soon. Hmm? Look at the time. It's getting pretty late. We should start heading home. Oh yeah, this is for you. you. Meat gum. That's... Look, I like meat as much as the next guy, but... God damn, does that sound disgusting. Meat gum is the best way to finish off a steak dinner. The sinewy texture is good, too good. Well, we should get going. Good night. You walked Chia to her house and went home. You have no plans today. You decide to go somewhere you don't usually go. First, Gasoyanaba Station, Shopping District Shrine, Junez Grocery Department. First, the shrine. We decided to go to the shrine at the shopping district. There's no one on the premises. Dusty shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. You decided to go home. You sense someone watching you. Mysterious fox suddenly appears before you. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Emma plaque in its mouth. Peace. The mysterious fox nudges the Emma into your hand. It reads, Please help Grandpa's legs get better. Signed, Keita. The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give this to you? On closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? Oh, not every day you see young'uns like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I come by to tidy things up once in a while, but lately my legs are so icky, I just can't do it. I'm trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shrine. That, and I won't be able to visit Keita anymore. He's my grandson, you know. I wonder if it could be the same Keita who wrote the Emma. The Emma said, please help Grandpa's legs get better. Hmm, what's that you got in your hand there? Could it be? That leaf, that's it! Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Ah, what memories. How'd you get your hands on this? I didn't think you could find those in the mountains anymore. Please, young man, can I trouble you to spare me that leaf? Sure. Oh, this is it, this is it! Now let's see here. The old man stuck the leaf onto his leg. Oh, I can feel it, it's working! Amazing, the pain I've been feeling for who knows how long, it just up and vanished! Mm-hmm, why, I feel better than I have in years! You really helped me out, young man. I'm so grateful. Now I could go visit my grandson. I'd better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. Wow, he wasn't kidding. You marvel at the amazing results. Not only did it heal his aches, it even restored his vitality. Fox looks on from his hiding place with a contented expression. He seems to understand that the wish on the Emma has been granted. Fox is peering into the offertory box as if to check its contents. He even seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were given the Emma with the leaf for that express purpose. Yep! Seems it has taken a liking to you. It is a mouthful of the same leaves as the one you gave the old man. Seems the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. Yep! Fox is looking on mirthfully. Is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange an encounter this is, as you realize a fox is showing you a pile of leaves. You feel a faint bond forming between you and the fox. Okay, but here is the most important question. Can I pet? 
the fox. Thou art I, I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Hermit Arcana. But can I pet the fox? Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help while searching the other side. Yep. Does it understand your thoughts? The fox gestures towards the offertory box. Is it offering its services for a price? So I can buy medicine from this fox? Uh, it seems the mysterious fox has agreed to aid you in your search. However, it appears that it will require a fee for its cooperation. You returned the amber to the shrine and went home. Yes, I want to know. This is important information, Kim. It's getting late. You decided to go home. <gasps> I can pet the fox. Suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26 year old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was. I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately. Sh Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. I like how he didn't even question. It's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? She, he didn't even question her calling me big bro. <laughs> <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. So I brought you a present. <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? What does that say? I probably won't be able to read it. It's probably in Japanese. But that looks like a platypus, maybe? <laughs> wow, there's a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yay! I got you one, too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Oh, I appreciate it. It's a swimsuit with an odd design on it. Thank you. Don't mention it. It is getting into summer. Going swimming will be a very good thing. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. All right. Okay. Spend a pleasant evening with the Dojimas. <laughs> My shirt has a platypus on it! Doesn't it look funny? Uh, Saturday's gonna rain. It's gonna be cloudy. Okay. The ocean's a bit far, but the river's right in town. I'm sure you'll end up taking a swim sometime this year. Make sure to wear that, okay? Absolutely. Dude, Dojima is such a good adoptive father from the get-go. I hate... <laughs> I hate that it's so... That he's so good because it's like... I feel bad lying to him about what's going on. <laughs> he decided to work on making envelopes. Quietly continued the dull task. Your diligence has increased. Work is going smoothly. Speed up the pace. Uh... Mm, 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 mm. Slow and steady wins the race. Kept working at your usual pace. You earned 1500 yen for making envelopes. Yo! You okay? Why are you going so slow today? 
Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Maybe you need a new one. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. We'll do our best. Yeah. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh, yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind. You know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Uh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up, too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh, well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. So you have a motorcycle, but no license. What's up? Word up! Want to hang out later? Social Link members may invite you to during lunch to spend time with them after school. If you choose to spend time with that person, you may become closer to them. You may still spend time with that person after school, even if you decline the invitation during lunch. Um. Decide later. Hmm. Really? Well, think about it, okay? What will you do after school? Has a car, but no light. Yep! I guess. Yo, what you doing? Hey, if you have time after school, hang out with me, okay? You can usually find me hanging out on the roof. Think about it. Yosuke's rank 4. I don't know if he's about to rank up. Chie is lower. Why do the holidays have to end so fast? At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly, either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? For now, at least. I doubt this is over. Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder. Will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke, why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Uh, for private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. <laughs> yeah, Yukiko apparently has a really dirty mind. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chi, for bringing up the whole studying thing. W what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Yes, actually. <laughs> I should start heading home. See you later. I'll deal with these two bumbling idiots. <laughs> you have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. That's Yosuke. Chie is on the roof. Um. Um. Chie is lower rank, so I should level her up first. That's what I think.
Hey, what you doing? And come with me. Samagawa Riverbank. Hmm. This looks like a good spot. You know, for training. I need to hone my kicking skills or I won't be able to use them in battle. I tried practicing at home, but my mom and dad yelled at me for putting a hole in the shoji. Be careful doing anything athletic at home, kids. Still, now's the time to train, right? Right. You think so, too? So, let's train together. No? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, thanks! <laughs> that thing, you know, from the, the shadow that came out of me? I feel pathetic knowing that's another me. Makes me feel like I gotta work harder. Alright, All right, let's do it! Between you and me, we'll be unstoppable! This marks the beginning of your training with Chie. You have now reached rank 2. Alright. Rebellion. What is rebellion? I'll have to look at that in a minute. Let's start today with frog leaps. Come on, you try some. Alright. Park. You walked partway home with her. Is Dojima home? Yes, he Welcome is. Back. Hey, Nanako. Well. This answer is hard. A lot of cloudy. Is there anything in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. And I don't have ingredients. So we're gonna go upstairs. You can work here. We're gonna make some more envelopes. Your diligence has increased. You made 1,500 yen. You overhear students talking. Is that a fake Adidas bag that, that that one student is carrying? Midterms start Monday. Post the results up for everyone to see. Life isn't going to be ruined by one little piece of paper, is it? How can you probably believe that? Getting good grades has benefits when interacting with people. Tell me people uh, really are more highly valued in society, right? Or, I should say, aren't they? I think is what she said. Oh. It's you. Mr. Hosoi, have you picked up the latest edition of Bully Teacher yet? Of course I did. But it's raining today. I hope I can get it home without getting it all wet. Does anyone have an extra book cover they'd be kind enough to lend me? Whoops, I have to start the lecture. Don't try to distract me by talking about books. Today, we're going to discuss... Discuss... Kokoro by Soseki Natsume. Open your textbook. Before we get to the actual literature, I'll ask a question about Sosuke himself. Uh, how about... The Jug! The City Boy. Do you know how Sosuke Natsume translated the English phrase I love you into Japanese? Uh... Is, is it this? I, I want to say it's this. Okay. Because Ski and Suki sounds very similar. Oh, you're very knowledgeable. Yep, he translated it as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? By the way, the person who translated it as I could die was Shime Futabate, another prominent Meiji era writer. Though he translated it from Russian, not English, it's still similar in that they didn't do direct translations. Back then, in Japan, there wasn't the same direct expression of love that we have now, so they had to get creative. It's a subtle, endearing translation, much like the Japanese language itself. Anyway, let's get back into Kokoro. <sighs> you hear thunder rumbling. Hey, Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd have just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. 
Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Yes, yeah, so would anybody. Ah! <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! He's trying to cheer you up, asshole! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <gasps> huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chia. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. Oh, so you don't have a motorcycle? You, I thought he... Didn't he say he did? I swear to God he said he did when we were hanging out with Nanako. Yo. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Um, uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my... Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Wait! What a prick. What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko! Can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girls' room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Yukiko, it's May, not October. Why are you trying to scare her? Hold it right there! What are you talking about?! Huh? It's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now? Because of the atmosphere. She is on the verge of tears. What should you do? Comfort her. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. <sighs> Why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah. With how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! Yukiko likes doing ghost stories. You would have continued. <laughs> Classes have ended today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. TV Classroom Lesson 2 is now available. I guess that's how we'll end the stream. It's raining, so there's no sports practice today. I need to find this fishing pole. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll never be able to go fishing. It's not going to be in the bookstore, but I will check the bookstore to see if there are any new books. I'll buy both of them. Daidara Metalworks. It's raining like mad today. On days like this, my heart yearns even more to make art. I wonder if anyone will bring in some rare materials for me. Shield boots. Survival guard. Charm robe. Buy weapons for Yukiko. Actually, no, she has a decent weapon. Plus 2 endurance, 62 attack, 92 hit. That's a big increase. He's got nothing new. He's got nothing new. Armor. 
survival guard. That's not... Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yes. Go to the shrine on a sunny day in the afternoon. Well, I can't do that today. Marioko Tofu. Ooh, but you know what? I can go to Aya and get the rainy day bonus to, to my stats. This is a Chinese diner Aya. Aya seems to be having some kind of promotion today. Rainy day challenge. 3,000 yen mega beef bowl. If you finish this quintuple size bowl, it's free. You feel taking on this dish will help you raise several characteristics. Yes. You still can't see the rice. You begin to, to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere again. I don't have enough of two of those stats. Two of them are maybe, but... You tried your best, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your understanding has increased, your knowledge has increased, your courage has increased. Too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Thank you. Ah, I heard about you from my daughter. So you're a transfer student? My daughter said you're cool. Her name is Aika. Unfortunately, she's out right now on a delivery. Uh-huh. He talks about his daughter a lot. It stopped raining, but the thunder was loud. Were you scared? No, but she a was. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Do I have a justice persona? I do! Ha ha! Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Since you have Archangel, a persona of the justice, you two might get along. I feel your relationship with Nanako isn't ready to advance yet. I'm still gonna spend time with her. I feel your relationship is gonna become closer soon. Today's a Sunday, so you don't have to go to school. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. Your first term midterms start tomorrow. What should you do today? I don't know. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. You mind hanging out with me for a while today? I need to get my mind off of studying for a bit. I don't know if this is going to rank her up. I doubt it. But I'll try it. Samagawa River. Decided to train with Chie. All right. Today's the day. Chie is enthusiastic today as well. Hey, it's Nanako. Yo. Oh, Nanako. What are you doing? Training, of course. <laughs> Training? Who are you fighting with, Chie? <laughs> Myself, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, cool! You think? <laughs> Ooh, a grasshopper! Huh? No way, where? It just landed on your back. <coughs> get it off, get it off me! Nanako took the grasshopper off of Chie's back. You don't like grasshoppers? 
No good with anything with thin jointed legs or anything creepy or squirmy. I can't get them out of my mind. I can't stand those things. But they're cute. You're like Yukiko. Oh, see, because Yukiko's fine around bugs. But me, I totally lose it. Kind of funny, huh? It's... It's cute. You son of a bitch! <laughs> That's not true. It's not. Somehow Chia looks... That was the good option anyway! <laughs> A lot of kids in my class don't like bugs. It's not just you, don't worry. <laughs> Nanako. Oh, you don't know how happy that makes me, thanks. Come on, you want to train too? Okay. Let's start with form. I'll teach you a kata. GA and Nanako began training. You sent Nanako home before it got dark. I'm gonna get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sissy next to Nanako. All I have to do is think of them as shadows. Then I'll be able to grab a whole fistful. I just gave myself goosebumps. G getting used to bugs might take a while, but I won't lose to shadows. You felt Chie's burning passion. Feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. You got rank 3. Sonos of the Chariot has now grown. Follow up. Chie can now perform a follow up attack during battle. Awesome. After finishing your training, you walked partway home with Chie. Hmm. What's up? Nanako seems to be lost in thought. Yes, girl, what's wrong? Um, well... Nanako fidgets. I made flowers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. Oh. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. Nanako seems upset. Let's give them to your dad. Huh? But it's Mother's Day. Is it okay to give them to dad? I don't see why not. Okay, then I'll give them to him. Um, I did a really good job. My teacher said they were pretty. <laughs> I wonder if dad will be happy to get them. Nanako seems happy. You should make a flower too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. Nanako taught you how to make an origami flower. We did it! Place the finished flower on the table along with a letter to Dojima. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and head back to your room. It's not raining, but I'll check the midnight channel anyway. Get a good t score on your test. You may become well known among your classmates and be more popular. Yes! One! Two! Uh, uh, uh. Your first term midterms begin today and continue through to Thursday. You should hurry to school. Hmm. Morning. Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. Have you studied for them? Can't you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? But even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. All this depressing stuff's just gonna keep going on and on and on. Midterms, day one. What is it called when muscles grow after exercise? Overcompensation. 
Feel you've chosen the correct answer. What is the year before 1 AD called? 1 BC. Midterms, day two. Which of these types of numbers does not exist? Oh shit, I don't know. <sighs> Is it marriage numbers? I haven't gotten to this point in editing yet. Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. I don't remember. Kim, is it marriage? It is marriage. Who translated I love you as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? Sosuke... Soseki Natsume. Midterms, day three. Who said as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom? <sighs> Pythagoras. To the following is the highest mountain in the solar system. Fuck me. Is it Gulamans? I think it's Gulamans, is that correct? Because that's the mountain on Mars? Kim, you have the power of Google. It is Olympus? It 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 it's Olympus, right? You you look this up. Hey Siri, what is the tallest mountain in the solar system? Here's an answer from .org. At 20.9 kilometers, 13.6 me, enormous shield volcano Olympus Mons on Mars is the tallest mountain in the solar system. Okay, it is Olympus Mons. It's the last day of the exams. You were familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. It's finally over. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down! So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put... Her sorrowful expression. Oh crap, and I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. Why? I don't even know what you're talking about, but why? Rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? Probably not, Yukiko. Alright, I'm giving up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Ah, seriously? I chose the wrong one! Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you too? That's probably the right answer. Oh, boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? 
We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. Yeah, I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did... did you say he was a legend? Yukiko? Down, girl. Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. Today was the final day of midterms. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. Definitely saving. I'm not doing that again. Until I inevitably play this game again in, like, six months. Oh, shit. It's Thursday. Do I have strength on me? No. Kim, I don't trust anyone. Not even myself. That's why I had to ask the robotic assistant. Again? Come to think of it, the last paper you found here belonged to Marie. Something is written on it in cute See handwriting. Phone. Listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, fated to foam. The little mermaid. This appears to be a poem. Her sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. Did you read it? You read it, didn't you? I said no. No, it's not like that. It's it's not a poem. Yeah, yelling at the edge of the world that this is not a poem. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out. I... Stupid, I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Don't read my things. It would seem that Marie was the author of the poem you just read. Why was it on the floor? I don't get it. Marie sulkily returns to her seat. Sandman, bring me a dream. Huh? Apparently I can't leave when my existence is wavering. Pff, whatever that means. I'll be waiting outside when I'm able to go out, so talk to me then. Okay. PQ makes those screams audible. Uh-huh. Look, I'll... I'm gonna assume that the full party is in PQ, so I'm gonna wait until I have the full party in both 3 and 4 to even go anywhere near uh, PQ. Alright, uh, what was I doing? Right, uh, ba 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 Back to the school. You didn't play three or four before Q. Okay, but I want to. Especially with four, because I, um... I don't uh -huh. want... To, uh, I don't want spoilers for this game. Oh. Alright, suck of practice. Unless I specifically ask for something, but you refuse to give me the answers to those questions. Your diligence has increased. Right, is this everyone? Good news, boys. You're getting a team manager. Oh, I, I recognize her. She ran by me one morning when I was walking to school. Now you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself. I, Ebihara. 
Great, you can take it from here. I'm going home. What? <sighs> I'm gonna tell you guys straight up. I'm not lifting a finger for this scene. I wouldn't be caught dead watching out for a bunch of sweaty guys. What? Then why did you... I missed too many days of school, but they'll let me move up if I manage a team. But don't expect me to put any effort into it. For the most part, I'm not even going to be here. Goodbye. Well, see ya. Or not. What was that all about? <sighs> oh well, I guess i son won't be doing our laundry, huh? Why are you showing her so much respect? She's the same age as us. Dude, just let me fantasize about her in peace, alright? No way, her? The soccer players continue talking about I, Ebihara. Hey, Daisuke, think you'd go for a chick like I? Not in a million years. Really? I mean, yeah, she's got major issues, but don't you think she's kind of hot? Girls annoy me. They do? How about guys, then? Knock it off! Weren't you dating back in middle school, bro? Oh, I get it now. You've got higher standards now, huh? Must be nice to be so popular that you can get any chick you want. Us normal guys couldn't possibly understand. Hey man. Whatever. Girls are a pain in the ass, right, Steve? Ooh. Right on. <laughs> yeah, you see where I'm coming from? Girls don't even talk to me, but they're always coming up and asking me out. What do they know about me? You guys done over here? Same thing as last time, right? A little overtime practice, and then we'll clean up. Alright. Let's do this. Mm. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Two of them are willing to help you train today, too. You feel your relationship with Daisuke and Co. has grown stronger. You got... I don't know what rank we're at now. Rank 4! <laughs> Alright. You don't think there are any endgame spoilers in PQ? I mean, probably not endgame, but I don't necessarily want to be spoiled on the party members or what they're like. You've gotten a decrease in rank for every girl you have a connection with. Ugh. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Hey, can I have a word with you? You go to Junez a lot? Pretty often. That acid dashi keeps vanishing every now and again. I figure he's probably slacking off around Junez whenever he does. If you see him hanging around when you're at Junez, he's probably goofing around. So if you see a dachi at Junez, tell him off for me, okay? Remember that you've seen a dachi in the food court before. Next time you go to Junez, you should be on the lookout for a dachi. Lunch! If there were ingredients, you can make a- But there are! You open the fridge. There's a variety of foods inside. You can make lunch for Nora. Spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch? Yes! Surprisingly. You have the ingredients to make meat stew. You decided to make meat stew. You only have to simmer it. How should you simmer it? What is a drop lid? Is that just a regular lid and it's being labeled stupidly? No, you know what? Huh. How would I make a, a stew? I, mm, I, mm, yeah, mm. I'd probably simmer without a lid for a little bit. Ingredients have been cooked. You obtained a serving of short simmered meat stew. Lunch break. You brought your lunch today. Do you wish to eat lunch with someone? Who would you like to invite for lunch? Yosuke, Chie, Daisuke, nah. The correct answer was Droplet. Now you tell me. Jerk. Uh, yeah, I'll, mm, I'll eat with Yosuke. Why not? Yasugame High Rooftop. We ate lunch with Yosuke. We ate short simmered meat stew together. Dude, what the heck is this? Whatever it is, it's not food. Aw. Try making better food next time. Aw. 
That makes me sad. What do the voices in my head say? Adachi! Okay, I guess we'll... Hmm. Shooting as it is. Going to town. Hello, Adachi. Oh. Oh, it's you. What's the matter? Can I help you? What you doing? What's it look like? I'm working. It's easy to investigate here with all the people around. It's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's a pretty good place to... Yeah, I think I've said enough. Seems Adachi is slacking off. Yeah, I'll hang out with you too. Oh, that's a little strange. What are you doing? Killing time? Tough to... Tough... Tough to do out here in the sticks, isn't it? There's nothing here. It's not like the city at all. <laughs> it's not so bad. Oh, yeah? Oh, but you're from the city too, right? You'll find out soon enough. This town really is dead. <sighs> Get this. My first assignment here was tracking down a cat. My suit got so dirty, and they wouldn't let me expense the dry cleaning bill. Next, I played Peacemaker in a spat between or some married couple was having. I can't believe they've got the police doing that stuff. Dachi seems unsatisfied with country life. But it's been more dangerous lately, so I can't kick back. He's bored. He goofs off a lot. At work. What if... He was secretly the killer, doing it just to give himself excitement? There's that one case, you know, it's still not solved yet. The higher-ups don't know what to do. They keep changing procedure on the fly. Sorry. Ooh, sorry, I hope I'm not making you nervous. You guys have nothing to worry about, you know? Us police are on the job. You sense that Adachi cares for you. You feel you understand Adachi a bit more. <laughs> thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Jester Arcana. That's a new, another new one. You think Adachi is that big-brained? Look, I'm just saying it would be a funny twist. Well, you know. Well, time for me to get back to work. Adachi, what are you doing? Yeah, that was close. Thought she doesn't seem to want to see that old woman. See ya. I'd better go. You hurry on home, too. Don't tell Dojima son I was in Junez, okay? You watched Dachi go back to work, then went home. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. The hell are you punks doing here? Young delinquent. That voice. This ain't a show. Get bent. Still up to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. But I thought he'd gone into a high school and started attending class. Huh. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. Well, maybe to you who was on the case. But someone who doesn't know him may not. But the guy's family runs a historic textile shop. Never mind. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. Aw, he does care. It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. Thank you, Nanako. Kanji is a cinnamon roll. Somehow I doubt that. Whoa, it started raining. I guess the weather report was right. That means the show's probably gonna be on tonight. The show? Okay. I hope
hope we don't see anyone. I feel like we're going to be seeing Kanji. Just because he was on the news. And the other two... Other three. Well, two victims. One potential victim. Was also on the news. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. Got it? Seems to be another rainy night. What will you see on the Midnight Channel tonight? Probably gonna be Kanji. Welcome home. I'm assuming the game doesn't want me to go. Oh, it'll let me go out. Interesting. <laughs> Biker gangs, those words sound kind of cool together. It's been a while since it's ran through the night like this. You should check out the Midnight Channel. <laughs> it's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? A figure appeared. It seems to be a man. He looks like a high schooler. The image is unfocused and it's hard to tell who it is. Did you try calling Yosuke? Yeah. Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. You hung up. You decided to go to bed for the night. So is Kanji your boy that you wanted to see before we ended for the day? We will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters? Hmm. That does have a nice ring to it. Sometimes I forget these are children. Anyways, as for what was on last night. Did everyone watch last night? I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? I told everyone that you saw someone who looked like a high schooler. So that's how I looked on TV. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean... he isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then... He's still safe for now. Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. Well, the same thing happened with Yukiko. Because remember... Is she... Uh, is Yukiko in that place? If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah, and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct, though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person... I don't know about that. Shut... <laughs> oh, no! You're funny, Bone. This is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. <laughs> uh, 
When are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? Someone's mad. <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. Is, is, is she good? You're back. So, you're home. I mean, <clears throat> uh, you're back. Nothing catches your eye. Damn it. <laughs> Biker gangs, those words sound kind of cool together. Can I check? Can I check the weather? Okay. Watch TV in your room. I'm still not over the fact that the calendar on the wall is the Persona 3 OST thing. He's fighting. Whoever he is. Probably Kanji. You feel like you've seen him before. Did you see that? It might be Kanji Tatsumi. What's up? So, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, well, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? <laughs> I mean, in the name of Chadness, the correct answer would be neither. <laughs> However, I personally. Between the two, would lean towards Yukiko. Your courage has increased. <laughs> kinda harsh, don't you think? Well, I kinda understand. They're great girls, but you saw their ugly sides right off, and I guess your first impression is the one that sticks. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay, see you tomorrow. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Yep. Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Nope. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yep. Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. Yep. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. Oh? You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. Oh. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. All right, then let's get going. Okay. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. I mean, that makes sense. Who's that? Hello. Also, hang on one second. I need to just check something real quick. Okay, good. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. That is not a young man. That is a woman. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's alright. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you.
What's up with him, weirdo? Huh? Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... Hey, the scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, you're right. Where was that? What scarf? Oh, it was that place. That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. What? Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end. She said she only wanted the women's scarf. Aww. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. <sighs> so they have to be on the news and they have to have some sort of connection to the first case. Hmm. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Hmm. Hmm? It's Kanji Kun. Well, quick, hide! Why? You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. You eavesdropped on Kanji's conversation with. Tomorrow's fine with me, huh? S school. Uh, of course, I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. I swear to God, that is not a guy. I swear that's a woman. D did, he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Probably not in the way you're thinking. Uh, what the hell are you pricks looking at? Scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! The one on TV last night was definitely Kanji kun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano, but it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Kanji's a target. Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Oh, I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. 
Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family's store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. Can I punch y Yosuke in the face? <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. She ignored him! She didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. All right. Welcome home. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today. Next time we'll do the stakeout and see what we can do about Kanji. I'll see you... Uh... Not Wednesday, because my work schedule changed a little. So... Friday. Probably. As long as nothing causes issues. Moshi!